Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we are back with Let's Play the uh, Banjo Tui on the Xbox Live Arcade. Uh, last time, we explored a little bit more of Jolly Rogers' Lagoon, and we don't really get a whole lot done, but um, thanks to a few tips from a few viewers and me exploring around a couple things and figuring a few things out, um, where you might actually make some progress in this episode. So, how about we get started on that, shall we? Uh, first things first, when I warped into this warp pad right here, I noticed that right over here, there's a honeycomb piece in this alcove that we somehow missed. So, I think that makes all three for this area, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, indeed. And we need one more Jinjo, one more Cheetos page, and a whole bunch more jiggies. Uh, something, something that I realized just recently. You remember that cheat we got from Grunty in Witchy World that shows you the jiggies in Jiggy Wiggy's temple or whatever? I just realized that the game already gives you like those little hints and tips right here in the the jiggy tips. I totally, I totally forgot that those already appeared, so... So yeah, that's pretty helpful actually. So if we're looking around here, um, Sea Bottom Cavern Mines game, I remember we couldn't go in there because they said something about pressure, so I'm not sure what's going to happen there. Hatching and helping baby Tip Tup. Well, we saw Tip Tup through the window that uh, over by where Kazooie got her her move, but I'm not sure how exactly we're supposed to get over there, so not sure about that. Uh, clean up and heat the pool. We cleaned it up. We haven't heated it up yet, though. Inside Smuggler's Cavern. We know where that's at. We just can't do anything about it because we don't have the mad jumps needed to accomplish that one. Uh, rescue Mary Maggie from inside the big fish. Um, yeah, somebody gave me a hint about that one, so we're going to be doing that. And defeat Lord Wu Fok Fok. Um, yeah, somebody also gave me a hint about that one, so we're going to be doing that, too. So... We're going to be getting at least those two today, and since I'm not sure if we can do anything else, that'll probably be all we can do for this area. But, in the meantime, somehow, while playing, I somehow ne neglected to go into that entrance over there, so let's, let's see what's over there, shall we? Maybe we'll find... Wumbo's Wigwam or something because we have not found that broad for like five or six episodes and I just realized we've been in this area for a long time this this uh this lagoon for a very long time okay there's a clear fish but he doesn't appear to have anything in him um uh, doesn't appear to be any enemies here hey hey look at that look at that the globo thingamajigmabob how you doing buddy very nice. Let's see, there doesn't seem to be anything else down there that I noticed, so let's just said, ooh, and what do you know? There's Wumba. How you doing, beautiful? Um, you know, I'm not an expert in engineering by any means, but isn't it usually a good idea to have your wigwam raised a little bit above sea level, you know, so you're not, like, sitting in a pool of water the whole time? I mean, that's just my personal opinion, but, um... If you gotta do what you gotta do, I guess. Alright, she's gonna give us some form of seafaring something or other. Um, probably gonna be some kind of machine, so I'm gonna take a wild guess and say submarine. I don't know if that's it, but she hasn't given us any, like, animals yet, so... I'm gonna assume she's gonna give us, like, a submarine or a sailboat, because... That's the only thing that would really be useful in this level. Since she's not going to give us like a killer whale, which would be awesome. Okay, why do you gotta go all the way over there to give her the glow bow? Why can't she just like pop it in her cleavage right there, huh? I'm going, I'm going. All right, let's see what we got. Hey, hey, we are a submarine. Sweet. 
in ho 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 Kind of like a grenade egg almost, except we don't seem to have a counter for it, so they're unlimited. So maybe we can use this for what somebody suggested. Uh... Okay, what, what's, what use is that? I'm not really sure, but... But yeah, um, somebody told me that in the Davy Jones cavern, you can blow up one of the lockers that has Davy Jones written on it. So, I guess we can go try to do that. First, I want to find uh, I want to find that fish with the teeth because somebody also mentioned that we can blow his teeth out and enter his body like he's Clinker from Clinker's Cavern in the first game. Come on, can I go on this? There we go. Alrighty, let's go to. Okay, Locker's Cavern, that's where the, the locker thing is. So let's go to the Big Fish Cavern and see if we can't get the, this guy's teeth blown to bits. Because somebody, yeah, so yeah, somebody mentioned that you got to blow his teeth out with grenade eggs. And I'm going to take a wild guess and hope that... And hope that these torpedoes work just as well. So... I can never hit him. Okay, let's try this again. Maybe you gotta hit him like really good accuracy or something. Okay, maybe you actually maybe you actually got to use your um, what's my call it's your grenade eggs. Huh? I guess that didn't work out as well as planned, then, did it? Okay. Anyways, um, let's go to that warp pad and go back to the locker. That's a shame. I thought that since they were all explosive and stuff, like the grenade eggs, that that would probably like you know work. By the way, if you notice that I'm pausing every couple seconds, it's because I'm uh, pausing and mute my mic for a second so I can sniffle since I got a mild cold. And it's probably not a good idea to be all sniffly on camera. I mean, I know I've done it a couple times before, but that was... Hang on. But yeah, I'm going to try to avoid doing stuff like that just because it's probably not for the best idea. Uh, sunken ship. What was in there? Let's go in there real quick, because I don't remember what was in here. Uh, let's see. Okay, you turn, like, really slow, Mr. Submarine Dude. Okay, what does this, this sonar do, anyways? Holy crap, it caused him to blow up. That's awesome. Okay, that, sub, that radar attack is awesome. Because otherwise you'd have to actually aim for the little bastards. Okay, um... Since we found that honeycomb piece around the edge of a building that we didn't explore earlier, let's uh, go around the edge of this thing and make sure the very last... Uh, whatchamacallit... Cheat page isn't like hidden in plain sight. I really don't remember what was in this ship, so that's the only reason I'm going back here. But as soon as we do this, we'll go to the we'll go to the locker and the locker room and well, that hole was in there and it says something about depths, so we can try that and then we could also try to blow up that locker and see if that um, see if that does anything for us. Oh, and by the way, you remember how last time I kept getting killed when I was in that stupid hole with the with the propellers? Yeah, somebody pointed out that. Uh, you are, I was actually supposed to use, um, I was actually supposed to use ice eggs to freeze them, 
and yeah I, I went through it and tried it and yeah it worked so yeah I felt like an idiot after that because it's it's a pretty obvious it's a pretty obvious thing but me and my intelligence just failed to realize that but then again I failed to realize a lot of things so what can I say okay uh, let's go this way Okay, I really like this sonar attack that blows, blows up these little bastard fishes. Take it. Die. Very nice. I like that. I really do. Makes my life much easier. You know what's weird? Why did the... Why did the, uh... Why did that, why did that truck in Witchy World... Uh, which we're gonna go back to... Uh, in an episode or two anyways, because I realized a couple things there, too. Why, why did that truck have, like... Unlimited health. I mean, this right here, this is a machine, the submarine. So why is this taking damage from from enemies, whereas the delivery truck didn't take any damage from anything? That's kind of weird. It's kind of inconsistent, you know? Uh, let's see, where was that locker at? Um, let's see. You know, it's around here somewhere. First off, let's get rid of you, you little bastard. Take that. Okay, let's see. Ah, there it is. Let's see if we can't blow this up. Hey, hey, we can go in there now. Very nice. If I can see what I'm doing. Uh, let's see. Alright, before we do that, though, let's go ahead and check out... See if there's any more lockers we can terrorize, which I don't think there are. Um, let's see. I think we've explored most of these exits, but if not, we'll explore them a little bit. Oh, it's something I didn't know. I didn't, I, I didn't know that you could actually swim and move around when in this per first person view. I did not realize that. I mean... It's kind of awkward in my opinion, but I guess like if you're used to like first-person games, then you can probably use that to your advantage, I guess. But I didn't realize that. I guess it might make it easier to like shoot eggs and swim at the same time. But... Hey, another mini game, Grunty. You sure are having a lot of mini games in this game. Like you had a bunch of Witchy World, and now you have this one. Sure, don't tell me it's gonna be blue's high score, red's little, little score. Yep, okay, so we gotta destroy these guys and get points, and the same thing as the other mini games that she's throwing in our face. Wait, did she say how many we have to get? Because if she did, I don't remember. It might be easier to... Actually, yeah, let's do it this way, guys. Let's see. Come on. This is easier than it. Like, it's made out to me. I don't know how many points we gotta get, but we we'll take a wild guess and say that we're gonna get it on the first try, because... Except for that... Except for that mini game in Witchy World, which is actually more fun than irritating once you. Hey, what did that happen? What did I get? I got an achievement. Shoot, 20 ulcers, clinkers, or mines. Okay, that works. Okay, I'm not sure how many points we gotta get, like I said, but. But yeah, that, that little uh, spaceship mini game was actually kind of fun once you. Once you got over being irritated at missing your high score three times in a row, I'm sure it made your sure it made your fingers kind of itchy, and I just realized that. Uh, never mind, I forgot what I said. But um, hey, I got enough for the your prize. What's your prize? Ooh, a jiggy. How am I not surprised? I'm not surprised that your prize is a jiggy. Uh, let's see. Is there anything else we can do in this area? Um, but yeah, that little, like, spaceship game was actually kind of fun, actually. 
And where is that chick anyways? Uh, I'm gonna guess that's the exit, I think. But where's the jiggy at? Okay, there's the jiggy. Wait, is that the exit over there? I thought we came... Wait, there appears to be two holes, so which one's the exit? Let's see, there's this right here. We'll come back for that jiggy in just a minute. I just want to see what's over here first. Um, oh, there's a whole lot of nothing in here. Way to get me confused there, game. I appreciate that. I really do. Let's see. There's nothing in that hole right there. I can't tell if that's a hole down there or not. Probably not. But it never hurts to explore these areas. There might be a... Cheetos page hidden in it somewhere. Okay, so this apparently wasn't the exit that I thought it was. Where is the entrance in? I could have swore that that hole was the entrance, or one of those holes was the entrance. Ah well, who cares? Not unless you give me Cheetos Page as a consolation prize, which I don't think you will, so I'm just going to say no. And then we can go into that Davy Jones locker and see if we can't uh, figure out what all the fuss in there is, is about. I was hoping you could blow up more of these more of these lockers so you could, like, I don't know, find that last Cheeto page that I need to find, but uh, I guess that dashes my hopes and dreams. So, screw it. Holy crap, it's a giant anglerfish. That thing is huge. Lord Woo Fuck Fuck, huh? That's uh, quite, quite the name. His appallingly cramped quarters. Actually, you can stay in here for as long as I care. Just fork over the jiggy. Okay, uh, let's try attacking this guy in the mouth as soon as he, like, gives me a chance to attack him. Yep, go with first person. Ah, holy crap, that's ugly. Ow, that hurt. You yep, go somewhere where I can actually, like, see what I'm doing here, guy. Alright, let's see. Come here. Okay, shooting his mouth is not working. There's a glowing spot on his body. We can try shooting that, I guess. Good. Never aim at the right spot. Your precious boils. Uh, I'm gonna take a wild guess and say that's your weak spot. There's one right there. But it doesn't seem to be working. Maybe you gotta aim for the ones that are glowing, like uh, like all bosses that have weak spots that glow in the dark. What is up with that? Why? Do, what's the point of having a weak spot if you're just gonna advertise it with bright neon lights? Over. Like, hey, I'm weak in between the knees, so you know what? I'm gonna put like a big old neon aim here sign. Come on, aim for the... Aim for the boil. You know what? It might be easier to swim around like this for this boss fight, I guess. Alright, there's two out of... Oh, there's a counter in the corner, so there's four more. Okay, that helps. And I keep on pressing X because I'm used to using that for the fast swim, but apparently we don't need that. That, that, don't you attack me. Leave me alone, you fishy bastard. Ow. 
That worked out pretty well, actually, because I got right next to his boil. Very nice. Alright, three more. Please be on this side when you reemerge. No, you're gonna have to be on the other side, you little bastard. Why do you do that to me? Why can't you just be on the side that, um, holy yeah, uh, don't you eat me? I don't want to be a fish bit. A fish worm on a fish hook. Leave me alone. Alright, come on, you got two more. So, how about you be nice and rape and die so I can get a jiggy and do other stuff? We stand still, guy. Ow. Alright, we got one more, I think. One more, come here. Give her fill Ow, come on. Okay, how come my stupid Sonic... Sonic Boom Radar attack works on the... other fishies, but it doesn't seem to work on you? Why do you gotta be all resistant to my... magic damages? Um, I didn't realize you were blind there, guy. And it looks like this guy has six more health to take care of. So, he said something about his eyes, so let's save for that big glowing eyeball right there. Okay, so we just gotta hit him in the eyes. Unless he's hiding, like, more eyes that I don't know about. But you, stand still, dude, so I can attack him. Okay, this part's pretty easy, actually. Come on, aim for the eyes. Come on. Two more. This guy's not all that difficult, actually. Big old monster fish, and he's not really all that tough. Except for the turning. Mute turn, damn it. Come on. One more. One more. Come on, move. Move. Move slower, fucker. Jeez, guy. There we go. Jeez, this guy turns like a fucking sack of bricks. If you had just given me the jiggy, I would have totally let you go. But, you had to be picky about it. Okay, come here, Mr. Jiggy, wherever you... Okay, get out of this person's view. Uh, let's see... Oh, there it is. Camera, how about you stop being crappy? Okay, Fufak, you can have all the time in the world to yourself. I have other things to do, like almost die on your tail. Get okay, good. Got the health. All right, come on, turn around. There we go, buddy. Okay, let's see. That appears to be everything we can do in here. Yeah. Don't come near me, guy. I'll kill you. Hey, you gave me more. Ooh, this is nice. Very good. That's much better. I don't see any other lockers to blow up unless we can randomly terrorize them for no reason, no? I guess not. Uh, let's see. Let's go find that warp pad, head back to... Humbawamba turn back into Banjo, and then we can go attack that. Then we can go attack that fish's teeth, like we tried to do and failed to do, because apparently these raid launching missiles just aren't up to snuff. You would think that uh, submarine missiles would be a bit more effective than. Egg missiles, but I guess not. 
let's see, we need to go here, I think. There we go. I don't know how I never made it to this area earlier, considering it's right there on the side of the wall, and it's not exactly hidden, so... How I missed it, I'm not really sure. I think what I'm going to do is, after I finish the levels from now on, I'm going to go ahead and uh, glance over various walkthroughs or let's plays on YouTube or something like that and see what I missed. Because I'm, I'm going to spend a pretty good amount of time in each area trying to figure stuff out by myself. But after a certain point, when I got everything that I could by myself, I'll go ahead and look around and see, if, see what I missed. Uh, and then... That way, that way, that way, I know what to look for. I'm not gonna do it for areas that I haven't been to, obviously, because I still want this to be a primarily blind LP. But I figure that's a fair compromise. That way, that way, I can be like, oh, no, I missed something stupid right there, and I can go back and get it on a subsequent episode or something like that. Because I have no idea where to look for that third, for that third. Um, Cheeto page. It's not in any of these fishes. I think I think we actually got one from those fishes earlier. So uh, we bought the one from what's his face. Uh, we bought the one from that pig leg uh, weasel rodent dude. Um, okay, this guy right here. Uh, so I'm not sure where else to look. I mean, I mean, sure, there's probably a ton of places that can be hidden, but. That's the problem. There's a ton of places where it could be hidden. Alright. Let's try this again. Okay, how come my grenade eggs work? But... Actually, this might be easier in the first person view. How come my grenades work, but my... My sonic, uh... Torpedoes don't work. What's up with that? Come here. Will you attack him? Okay, I gotta get to the other side because I've knocked out a bunch of his teeth already. I think we're still missing one Jinjo too, aren't we? He might be inside this guy, since we have to go inside him anyways. And will you make yourself easily available for me to hurt you? Please. I'm not asking a whole lot here, pal. I'm just trying to... Come here. Ooh, we got it. Very nice. Fantastic. And then they mentioned that after you blow off his teeth, you can swim into his mouth. So... Cool, I guess. Hey, this is very ulcery. This guy really does remind me of Clinker from Clinker's Cavern. I mean, you have to blow off his teeth to get into his mouth, and then he's all covered in ulcers and stuff on the inside, so this really is Clinker's Cavern 2.0, isn't it? Not that I'm complaining, since I actually like Clinker's Cavern for the most part. Hey, what do you know, it's a Jinjo. Ito. We still got seven more of you bastards? How many Jinjos... How many Jinjos total do we, like, have? Oh, wow. We finished the whites, we finished the oranges, we finished the yellows. Um, there's another orange, unless that's brown, which it probably is. Halfway through with the purples, not even close for the greens. Halfway through for the blues, and a third of the way for the reds. And a quarter of the way for the blacks. So, okay, yeah, I I'm gonna guess that's brown, not orange. But, well, we're doing pretty good on Jinjo's in. And that was the last Jinjo for this area, I believe. Okay, let's see. Anything else in this area besides a monster butt whooping? No. These guys regenerate way too quick in this game. 
I don't think they regenerate anywhere near this fast in uh, Banjo Kazooie. I don't mind it, it's just. It feels kind of pointless. You kill them, and then 10 seconds later, they respawn, like, immediately. So. And holy crap! You are one ugly woman. Not trying to be offensive, but, uh. Holy crap, that's ugly. Mary Maggie, huh? Uh, I'm sure you could have found something better to swallow, but that's just my personal opinion. Yeah, do we get something for coming in here and rescuing you? Oh, we gotta go get it from Jolly. Uh, that's, uh, quite the little skip to the loo you got there, lady. Okay, I think I need some brain bleach now, because that's just, uh, not right, if I do say so myself. I mean, if some of you guys are into that kind of thing, then more power to you, but, uh, yeah, that's not for me, I don't think. Okay, how is this fish so damn big on the inside? I mean, he's a good-sized fish, but he is not that big. I mean, you could swim around him in like three seconds here. How is he that big on the inside? Okay, where am I going? I'm looking for the warp pad, aren't I? Uh, let's see. Hey, look, it's his teeth that we knocked off. I thought they would have, like, disappeared. Maybe they left him there so he could pick him up later? What's up here, anyways? Have we been up here? There's the warp pad, but have we actually been over here? Probably have. I'm gonna guess that we have, but... Let's check anyway, shall we? Oh, this little bastard area. I don't think there's anything in here for us. Yeah, not really. Oh wait, I just remember, I, I remember where that stupid Cheeto page was. It was in a... Wait, was that a Jiggy or a Cheeto page? I was gonna say I thought the Cheeto page was in... One of these, uh... One of these buildings down here that we couldn't get to, I think. But that might have been a Jiggy. Um, we can find out just by looking at this, actually. Uh, let's see. Jiggy tips. Let's see. Hatch and help baby tip tip. No, that's not it. Clean up, heat the pool. No, that's not it. Inside Smuggler's Cavern below Jollies. I'm assuming that's the one we, uh... That we can't jump to in the cavern area. Uh, so yeah, I think that was actually the... The Cheeto page in that building that we couldn't get to. Sorry about that. So yeah, I guess we know where it's at, but uh, we just can't get to it yet, so that helps. Alright, let's go collect our reward from Jolly though, because we've been on this episode we've been on this area for a rather long time, something like six episodes, something like that, so I think it's about time we head off to the next area. Which I think we already unlocked, but I think we also have enough Jiggies to unlock more, so... We'll probably do that... Uh, yeah, we can probably squeeze that in this episode, I guess. If I had known you looked like that, I might have just left you in there. He was just hungry. Oh, you're welcome. Now give me a jiggy. Uh, no thanks. I'd rather have a jiggy, buddy. Oh, you're too kind, pal. You're too kind. I do appreciate it. <laughs> there we go. Very nice. 
All right, now we can finally get out of here. I like this. Ep I like this. Uh, I like this area. I like this world, but this world really could have used the mini map because I got lost or just confused trying to find my way around that uh, little underwater part a lot. So the mini map would have helped. I really like the. I really like the little town part though. That was nice. I'm gonna guess that's not World Five since we haven't unlocked it, but I was looking around and I'm not sure if we noticed it earlier, but there was like a snowflake and like a, a flame on, this, on the door. That's kind of like canceling each other out though, isn't it? I don't know, but oh well. Anyways, let's just head up there. Let's just head up here. By the way, this little uh, train station over here uh, somebody told me what we need to do with that, so we're probably going to do this next episode, since I know what to do with it now, but, yeah, somebody mentioned what we actually have to do with it, and I appreciate that. I don't mind if you guys give me hints, just so long as you, like, don't tell me stuff in advance, like, if you see, if you see me, like, pass something up, obviously, like, uh, like, oh, you missed something here, you're supposed to do this and that, that's fine. But don't say, oh, in World 6, do such and such for, for such and such, you know. Like, I don't mind if you guys give me retroactive hits, just not, uh, just not, uh, just not before I have a chance to try to figure it out for myself, though. Hey, you, die. No, nope, come here. Okay, we have 37 jiggies and we need 28, so cool. Okay, these when I when I first started, I thought that these puzzles would kind of suck. That, like they would be like a like they would be like the bonus puzzles in Banjo Kazooie. But then I realized that they're nowhere near as bastardly because so far they haven't rotated the pieces on us yet. And I must say I'm very thankful for that so far. Because that was a real pain in the testicle last, uh, the last couple times. Uh, or in the, uh, the last game, anyways. Plus they gave you a whole lot of time on these things too. So that makes it ridiculously easy. No? There we go. This looks like a danger high voltage. It looks like like a I don't know what it looks like. Kinda looks like the inside of like a submarine or something. when you get all the jiggies, or all the worlds open. I mean, this is lets you chill out in here anyway, since, since you can't go in here to Quagmire. Isle of Hags, Quagmire. Oh, Grunty Industries. Oh, look, there's a Jinjo. Hi, buddy. Not that I can reach you yet, but... Cool. But, um, yeah, you gotta have, you gotta have the appropriate amount of jiggies in order to get into Jiggy Wiggy's temple, so... Once we open up all the worlds, and... We don't have any like jiggies left to spend. I wonder if we actually can you still come in here to like read like the signposts and stuff. Number seven. Alrighty, I'll do that. That really is a glowing jigsaw piece right there, isn't it? Yeah, I guess he just likes the glowing effect. I guess. And this is the lava world. I think that uh, 
what's his face, uh, Gobi was talking about. Oh, by the way, um, yeah, I figured out how to rescue Gobi from Witchy World, and I feel like an idiot for not figuring it out when I was there the first time, since I could've, like, did it when I was there. So, yeah, I feel like an idiot. Then again, I feel like an idiot when... I felt like an idiot several times throughout this LP, actually. When, for example, you could get into Area 51 and Witchy World by grenade egging the... the... the gate. But I thought you had to get, like, a special move to, like, get over it some other way. So, yeah. I didn't feel all too particularly proud of myself when I figured out that, hey, you just gotta throw a grenade egg that you got outside the world over there. And yeah, that's how you can rescue Gobi and the Jiggy and the little Triceratops dude in there is just by grenade egg in their cages, and somehow, I did not realize that. Why I didn't think to do that? Oh yeah, there's one other area in uh, Mayahem Temple that we could have done when we were there the first time, and again, I feel brain dead for not realizing, hey, this is what you gotta do, because apparently I'm a moron. I am a moron, and you know what? It's what I do. Hey, look, it's that world that we were just at, but we can't go to. Or we couldn't go to, but I guess we can go to now. I don't think it told us the name, though, did it? No? Ah, well. Okay, so no more, no more jiggies, huh? Anyways, uh, let's see what the World 5 is called again, because I kind of forgot. So, one, two, I'm going to assume it's going clockwise. Uh, three, four, five, here we go. Behold the jiggy secrets of Pterodactyland. Okay. I'll look, at, I'll look at the jiggy parts uh, in the actual world. So it's called Pterodactyland, so maybe it's a... Uh, dinosaur themed and you turn into a pterodactyl that would be pretty cool actually that'd be our flying form for this game like the bumblebee okay this was the oh grunty industries so yeah that's uh, the one we unlocked just a minute ago and let's see there's you over here the one we just unlocked hailfire peaks okay wait hailfire like hail like ice and fire like flames. That's kind of uh, an oxymoron, though, isn't it? This is the last world right here. Let's see what this is called. Cloud Cuckoo Land. That sounds pretty cool. Kind of... I don't know why, but the name kind of gives me a, a vibe of Click Clock uh, Woods from the first game. And I just realized something. Wasn't there ten worlds in Banjo-Kazooie? But there's only eight here. But then again, the worlds here are pretty large. Oh, I, I just realized we need 45 for the next unlocking. But yeah, the worlds here are pretty large, so I guess having two less worlds doesn't really make a difference, because I can already see this episode, that this uh, this playthrough is going to be significantly longer than the Badger Kazooie playthrough, which is good and bad, I guess. I mean, I'm liking it so far. I'm having fun. I, I got used to I got used to a few of the a few of the control quirks, like not being able to double jump or just mash A midair when you jump. So, I got used to it. But anyways guys, that's enough rambling for me. Uh, we managed to actually finally accomplish some stuff in this episode including finishing up uh, Jolly Rogers Lagoon and some other stuff. So now we're going to get ready to go to apparently Pterodactyl Land and I think I know how to get there. But we're going to save that for probably an episode while I do some other stuff next episode. So guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good night.